Welcome to my channel where I provide some of the most beautiful jewelry collection in the world. In today's video we are going to indulge ourselves with some of the beautiful jewelry pieces from the notable house of fashion, Chanel. Curiously, in 1932 Gabrielle Chanel, long known for her costume jewellery featuring pearls of the Orient and colourful gems, turns her attention to the most precious of stones, the diamond. Surrender pitilessly, still reeling from the 1929 crisis, the diamond merchant single out Mademoiselle Chanel over the grand jewellers of the Place Vendôme to give diamond its true brilliance. So begins the most ephemeral, the most legendary of collections. Simply, Gabrielle Chanel simplifies jewellery settings, rendering the previous styles out of date. No longer is the stone itself supreme, but as in couture, line and pattern. She freely mounts and repurposes her diamonds as she once had dismantled the jewels given by the Duke of Westminster to create new ornaments. Resolutely, she makes fluidity a principle and liberty a virtue, removing clasps, lengthening necklaces, sending comets sparkling across shoulders and showering the décolletage with stars. I want, she said, jewels that slip between the fingers of a woman like a ribbon. Poetically, Gabrielle Chanel plucks the stars out of the Parisian sky. I wanted to shower women in constellations, the stars. Stars of all sizes to sparkle in the hair. Symbolically, she selects five themes for the Bijou de Diamant collection. Five, her lucky number. The key to her style, expressed in the magic of stars, the rays of the sun, the fluidity of ribbon, the insouciance of fringe, and the lightness of feathers. Secretly, Mademoiselle illuminates the darkest period of her childhood by recreating in diamonds, stars, crescent moons, suns, and crosses of Malta, which were laid out in the paving stones of the Abbey of Aubazine, upon which the young orphan tread every day on her way to Mass. Audaciously, Gabrielle Chanel does not exhibit her jewelry in her boutique on the Rue Cambon, but in her own home at 29 Faubourg Saint-Honoré. Refusing display cases and black velvet cushions, she prefers to show her jewels on simple wax mannequins, their hair styled and faces touched with makeup. Furiously, the male-dominated world of the Place Vendôme demands that the jewels be disassembled after the exhibition, but as Mademoiselle said, are not the most beautiful things made to circulate. Finally, the 1932 collection will be Gabrielle Chanel's first and only high jewelry collection. But with it, she establishes a timeless code, creativity over ostentation, lightness over exaggeration. The innovations of the first couturier to venture into the Place Vendôme spread like wildfire, waking the world of fine jewellery from its slumber. Brilliantly, today's collections are enriched by those of yesterday, reinterpreting stars, fringes and ribbons and invoking other elements of the universe of Mademoiselle, the camellia, the lion, the pearl. Insolently, today a diamond necklace worn over a t-shirt becomes an evidence setter, an elegance, an unspoken homage to one for whom beauty was not an obligation or a convention, but simply a way of being, an allure. Freely, these are the women who choose Chanel diamonds. Today their jewels are no longer trophies given by admirers, but symbols of liberty. A cluster of diamonds on the jacket, on the skin, or in the hair, adorning them with their brilliance, their strength, and their fire. Eternally, Chanel and the diamond. Tenth on the list is the flora and fauna necklace from the Coromandel Legend Collection. Gabrielle Chanel's obsession with a lover inspired a lifelong infatuation with an object and one of them is the Coromandel screen. The necklace is crafted with emerald cut, baguette, round, and pear-shaped white diamonds set on a platinum with the flower beaded diamond designs on each side. Elegant, beautiful, and fascinating. Spotlight on the sparkle and glitter of Chanel fine jewelry. The iconic flower of Gabrielle Chanel, the camellia deploys its petals of gold and diamonds to register itself in time as an iconic Parisian house. One camellia, five looks, for a 1.5 collection that present 50 pieces of fine jewellery, 23 of which is transformable with the jewellery of Mademoiselle who only thought of them as modular to be worn for multiple effects. All in diamonds, pink sapphire, rubies, and pink gold, with an airy volume, they expressed the strength of the creativity of Chanel jewelry and especially its meticulous know-how. Just a look at this beautiful power rose to understand. From the presentation of the piece before crimping, so it can be assembled in the length adjusted, to the crimping with precious diamonds. 
diamonds of different shapes, for an originality and for the most breathtaking shine. A small work of art that perfectly respects the codes of the house. Convertible with its camellia pattern, that can be worn as a brooch and move around the necklace. They also expertise for the contrast white bracelet and its matching necklace, also adjustable, between the detachable camellia necklace and a brooch, between sumptuous pearls and diamonds joint with flower for the finesse. For the rings, they are majestic in white gold, and diamonds with great names such as Diamond Revelation, Contrast White, and Crystal Illusions, to name only the most astonishing. So many majestic stones and expert techniques, to simply dazzle. Eighth on the list, is the Eagle Protector Necklace from Friendship Diamond Collection. The Eagle Protector Necklace pays tribute to Gabrielle Chanel's Russian Paris, the double-headed eagle, crafted in platinum and diamonds, keeping watch over the rare shield-cut diamonds and sparkling rows of briolette-cut diamonds. Simple yet elegantly beautiful. Seventh on the list, is these beautiful seraphane necklace and earrings, both were inspired from the Russian needlework. Gabrielle Chanel incorporated into her collections and named after a popular style of dress worn by Russian women. The embroidery-inspired camellia motif, crafted from diamonds and pearls, centers on the necklace around a stunning, round-cut 10.18 carat diamond, colorless and internally flawless. Sixth on the list is the folklore earrings, from Lover's Collection. The earrings are an interpretation of colorful, traditional Russian embroideries. They are reimagined in daring red lacquer, Gabrielle Chanel's favorite color, and punctuated with savorite and orange garnets, blue and pink sapphires, diamond and pearls. The legend of Mademoiselle Chanel can easily overshadow the woman, Gabrielle. This is precisely what Coco wanted, preferring to hide behind her work and use the tragedies of her past to spin the remarkable yet ever-changing tale of her life. After all, Mademoiselle was a master creator. But, behind the legend, there exists a woman who loved deeply and lived passionately. Fifth in the list is the Fauna Jewelries from the Coromandel Collection. The Coromandel Collection is made up of 49 pieces with 24 that are entirely unique. All inspired by the colors, the shape, the mood and decorations of Coromandel screen. And one of this is the Fauna, composed of birds set on a fine diamonds and colored gems stones, using the Chanel's in-house techniques of craftsmanship which brings this fine pieces of jewelry to life. This is the first time Chanel has designed a high jewelry collection themed solely on wheat. Representing good wishes of regeneration, abundance, luck, prosperity and endless creativity, the pieces follow the complete life cycle of wheat. Beginning in early spring when the fields are green with young wheat shoots, Chanel evokes the verdant scenery with diamonds, peridots, crystalline and aquamarines. Premier brins, brins de printemps and brins de diamonds play with wheat stalks forming necklaces, earrings and rings. Then summer comes round and the wheat fields turn a glorious golden hue most beautiful at sunrise and sunset. Accordingly, the jewelry pieces are designed in yellow gold and adorned with diamonds yellow sapphires and pearls to highlight the rich bounty. Moisten in Zoli and moistened her pearlies bask in the warmth of the bright summer sun. Third on the list is the floral and mineral necklace from the Coromandel collection. The Coromandel baubles capture the essence of Chanel's dividers, floral motifs based on their patterns now grace cuffs and rings, while emeralds, tulin, red spinel, and onyx evoke their lacquer colors. Like this beautiful evocation floral necklace in white gold, green tourlines, mint savorite garnet, diamonds, and pink sapphires. The Horizon Liontain necklace was born in the mineral theme. It is yellow gold, spread with clouds of mother if pearl and diamonds, including one six carat gemstone. It is a so-called plastron necklace, which is originally an ornamental front of a woman's bodice or shirt from a colorful material with lace or embroidery in vogue in the late 19th century. The creation perfectly mirrors the East meets West aesthetics of Chanel. 
Fans of Chanel will know that every jewelry creation from the Maison relates to a facet of Mademoiselle Gabrielle Chanel's life. Born a Leo, on 19 August 1883, Lyons played an important role in her life and increasingly in the brand's jewelry collections. The lion symbolizes power and freedom, two forces that marked the independent-minded Chanel's personal life and career. Against all odds, from humble beginnings Coco Chanel forged her place in Parisian society and fashion history. As defiant and original as Mademoiselle, the collection captures different attributes of the lion's temperament from protective to passionate, intuitive to eternal. Swags of substantial gold chains fail to fetter the muscular the lion and his tawny colors are captured in swathes of diamonds, both white and yellow, golden sapphires, honey-hued beryls and dusky imperial topaz. Dans son appartement célèbre, dans son appartement célèbre du Faubourg Saint-Honoré, Chanel lance les bijoux véritables et plus spécialement les diamants. À l'abri de cages de cristal, les bustes de cire reposent comme des torses antiques sur des colonnes tronquées. Ils ont des yeux ravissants et tendres aux longs cils recourbés, des cheveux véritables qu'aucune permanente n'a torturé, un teint qui justifie enfin l'expression de lys et de rose. Il fallait la main d'une femme pour semer avec autant de grâce une fortune de pierreries dans une chevelue, pour donner au ruissellement des joyaux la légèreté du ruban. Des étoiles inégales montées sur un fil invisible renouvellent la formule du diadème. La grande ours devient un pendentif. Il y a des nœuds inimitables, des soleils resplendissants de diamants jaunes montés sur or. Une comète s'enroule d'un mouvement caressant autour d'un cou sans l'encercler complètement. Un bracelet, une simple torsade. Des bagues ouvertes qui, lorsqu'on les passe, font que les pierres ont l'air posées par miracle entre les doigts. Ainsi, Chanel réhabilite le diamant en le traitant avec art et désinvolture. It was a pleasure sharing the story and the history behind some of the most beautiful high jewelry collection from the Parisian house of fashion, Chanel. I hope you enjoyed it and have a nice day.